I'm Romina Percy and welcome back to Earth from Space. Today the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission takes us over the Clarence Strait, a narrow body of water in Australia's Northern Territory. It ties the Beagle Gulf in the west with the Van Diemen Gulf to the east. The strait separates Northern Australia from the Melville Island, part of the Tiwi Islands. The southernmost tip of Melville is visible in the upper part of the image. In the centre, we can see Darwin. With a population of 140,000, Darwin is the capital and largest city of the sparsely populated Northern Territory. In 1839, the HMS Beagle sailed into the waters of what is now known as Darwin Harbour. With a strong Aboriginal culture, art and tropical summers, Darwin is a popular tourist destination. The Crocosaurus Cove in the heart of the city houses the world's largest display of Australian reptiles. The waters that surround Darwin are riddled with saltwater crocodiles and deadly box jellyfish, who inhabit the waters from October to May. The Adelaide River could be seen to the right of Darwin, snaking its way northwards, flowing 180 kilometres before emptying into the Timor Sea. The river is known for its high concentration of saltwater crocodiles. Juke Binge National Park is a protected area visible east of Adelaide River. The park contains a portion of the catchment area and drainage for the river, and consists mostly of wetlands. The close vicinity to the water makes the park a major breeding ground for a variety of water birds, including magpie geese, herons, and egrets. Copernicus Sentinel-2 is a two-satellite mission. Each satellite carries a high-resolution camera that images Earth's surface in 13 spectral bands. Data from Copernicus Sentinel-2 can help monitor changes in land cover. And this brings us to the end of this edition. I'm Ramina Percy from ESA Web TV Studios. Have a good day.